Greetings you people, this is Briarstone and I welcome you to Fallout Roguelike. This is the video that is going to help us get to know Jorge Cruz better. Now I asked for stories from you guys and I got an overwhelming response in my inbox. Not to mention I have noticed that certain people have down below in the comment section of the last video started to even do diary applications of the story that is a fantastic idea so you know what feel free to continue doing that <laughs> but as a past as a backstory for Jorge Cruz we have several things that we can go off of now I wrote down a few very viable things and as always I'm going to try to blend them all together into some suitable backstory that you know you guys have all helped make that seems like the best way to do it and that's the way I continue to try to do it I hope you guys enjoy first things first snake one two two five nine one he made a very good mmm I'd say a very good story element when he mentions that Jorge lost his parents at the age of seven to nine years old. Because when I'm thinking of a bounty hunter, I'm thinking of not a good guy, and I'm also not thinking of not a bad guy. I'm thinking of a misguided guy. And at the age of seven to nine years old, losing your parents can lead you into some very dark places. So that's something we're going to consider. Also, Super Golden Ghost had mentioned that perhaps Jorge was born into hardship. In his area, this is all post-apocalyptic, by the way. He was born into hardship, and his particular village, as it were, was very malnourished. So, as soon as he could perhaps even after the age of seven to nine years old as soon as he could he started to help his remaining family perhaps his uncle and his grandfather perhaps they brought him on expeditions and this is where he learned his survival skills right perhaps this is also where he learned how to shoot and to find things that can keep him alive in the desert that seems like a very very good thing now also, Super Golden Ghost had mentioned as well that perhaps Raiders later wiped out everyone else he knew later in his life, years later, somewhere around the age of 13. This I'm liking because in the last chapter, I suppose in chapter 1, we killed off some bandits for no real good reason other than the fact that they probably would have shot us as well but you know we shot first that says something about ourselves perhaps just perhaps Jorge because he has a past with raiders he just shoots them whenever he sees a raider he doesn't really even give in to any what ifs he just shoots them get them out of the way also Meon murder suggests that in some time during Jorge Cruz's life perhaps he lost a portion of his memory now this would help our character sort of start building some some alliances right because so far everything that we've mentioned he, he doesn't really seem like the type that would build alliances too easily okay so if he lost his memory at some point if he got amnesia of sorts maybe not even full amnesia perhaps he even remembers his name and everything but if he's got some form of amnesia that he has he was helped to come to terms with he would have some sort of of dealings or some sort of relationship with somebody now who is this somebody Mm. Scarlet 680 mentions that perhaps the guy that he is currently doing a contract for 
His name was Duke. We're just going to call him Duke. This is the guy whom Jorge Cruz is currently working for. Now, Duke, given our beginning circumstances, we just totally you know, woke up outside of a derelict gas station of sorts. Perhaps Duke had him drugged and then dropped him off there for security reasons, right? I'm not going to go into too much detail, but for security reasons, he was drugged and dropped off there, and he doesn't remember too much of how he got there. He just knows that that's where he was supposed to begin his journey. Now, also, where is it? I'm going to mention it. Just viewing mentions that the retcon post could be an interest. It could be an interest. This is the place that in the last chapter, if you remember, that we were going to head in that direction. This is something I had, I had previously just decided that we were going to do. Perhaps this is part of the contract that Jorge has with Duke. Right? He was dropped outside of that derelict garage and now he is to make himself to retcon and whatever the interest that Duke has in that place we don't actually know because as a good bounty hunter we don't ask too many questions we just, we just have our job we go and we do it right so what are we going to find in the retcon facility some of you probably already know I don't know I'm not going to look it up I'm just going to say that it is of interest to the Duke hopefully we can finish that contract something else we should know about Jorge something I have thought of I was thinking that you know, I mentioned that he already kills vipers and gang members just on sight, just for the hell of it. Um, just viewing had also mentioned that perhaps Jorge was caught up in a collapse at one time. And I'm thinking we can actually go back to Super Golden Ghost when he actually mentioned how the um, how the raiders came and wiped out everyone else he knew. I'm going to mix these two together. I'm going to say that Jorge got caught in a collapse and could not even hold a gun and try to rescue any one of his members. He was caught up in some rubble, could not move, and watched everyone get slaughtered and die. Now, this would bring about, imag just imagine the grief, right, and the helplessness that you would feel in such a situation. Jorge loathes being trapped because he couldn't he cannot do anything when he's trapped so that's sort of lived with him or perhaps he's even forgot about it if he had some sort of amnesia but still in his subconscious being in enclosed spaces freaks him the hell out he cannot stand it he does not like to be indoors and this is going to be a test of his of his endurance of his actual psychological composure when he goes to retcon because this is indoors Right, it's a facility. That's that's in the name, so I'm guessing it's indoors. I'm hoping it's indoors, or else I just messed that up. But still. Anyway. I'm also gonna add something else. Just viewing had mentioned that at one point Jorge joined a gang. Right? Instead of just outright killing them, he joined them. I'm also gonna mix these two between Super Golden Ghost and Just Viewing. Super Golden Ghost mentions that the Raiders killed the rest of his family everybody else he knew and just viewing says he joined a gang let's say that upon getting himself finally out of that rubble and surviving the in the the ordeal he goes and he <laughs> finds a way into this particular gang he kinda just fishes his way into it and Maybe he has to fight somebody to prove some survival of the fittest to actually fit into the gang because, you know, they only have so many members, say. We're going to say they only accept so many members, so one of the members had to die and just test to see if he was strong enough to be one of them. He fought to the death. One of the members, they died, so now he was part of them. And he waited for the perfect opportunity to get rid of the rest of them. Too many for him just to slaughter outright. So perhaps while at some point they were engaged between the NCR, the Raiders and the NCR, Jorge picked the perfect moment to turn on these Raiders that slaughtered his people. And he started shooting them all, one by one in the back, while the NCR was shooting from the front. The NCR noticed, perhaps an NCR sniper noticed what 
Jorge was doing and so they kept him alive and we're going to get into a little bit of what resilient MKU mentions now Jorge because he is such a good trigger finger also tests weapons which is where this rifle comes from tests weapons for the NCR so we have a little bit of allegiance here and all over now as a recap we're just going to say because to explain everything else that I just went all the way through I might stumble all the way through it we're just going to say that Jorge Cruz is a badass now how long are we going to keep him alive we don't know we're gonna find out however upon the next chapter chapter two guys look for it on Monday I hate to leave you hanging for an entire weekend but let's just say I have a lot of things on my plate currently um, which is also why I didn't get a Bioshock Infinite video up today so I apologize for that if you were looking for that but on Monday I hope to have chapter two of Jorge Cruz's adventure in the post-apocalyptic environment known as Fallout New Vegas if there's any part of this video that you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this and don't forget if you like any part of this story or if you want to be a part of any future stories send me your stories I read those I really really do and I enjoy reading the stories that's part of why I do this because well I thrive on stories and I thank you all for whoever sent me stories already keep doing that and if you're doing the diary, you know who you are. You must keep doing the diary. <laughs> or else. No. All right. Anyway. Take care, guys. This is Briarstone signing out.